Sometimes it pays to buy things in bulk, meaning food, like some people that have larger families, for example, they'll buy five pounds of potatoes and they expect to use them up very shortly within a week or so. That's understandable. Some people have even larger families and buy 10 pounds of potatoes and they use that up within a reasonable time. But how about the person that has like a smaller family, like a family of one or two, for example? Does it pay for them to buy five pounds of potatoes? Hi, I'm Jan. Welcome to the Save Money and More with Jan channel. Nice to see you here. Thank you so much. And if you've been here before, hello. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you stick around. You know, I did a lot of thinking and recently I posted a video about the meals that I'm having during the week, not under any specific time frame. I work with things that I had. I bought a couple of things that I needed and thus came about that menu plan. Okay. And I just happen to like the stuff I chose. So on one of the nights this week in real time, I'm going to have a chicken cutlet with one baked potato. Okay. And some green beans. I happened to catch a sale on the green beans in the can. And that particular can, it says serves three. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to use that up three times throughout the week. I like green beans. And I like following the instructions sometimes because it becomes more cost effective. Did I buy this family myself? No. Five pounds of potatoes for my baked potato? No. I picked up a couple of potatoes for baking. That's what I'm going to use. Now, as far as the chicken cutlet goes, there is a company that already makes individual natural chicken breasts individually vacuum sealed. You do not have to do it. You take down the pieces as you need it, whether you have a family of one, two, or 20. I love this idea because people today don't necessarily sit down at the same time to eat. Sometimes a person's craving chicken and somebody else is not. And they can take one of those down and do as they wish with it in terms of uh, cooking it. But for me, these, these cutlets were on sale, boneless chicken breast cutlets on sale for, I don't know, like about $8. And there's five generous size. I'm telling you, they are so thick. They are so filling, literally very, very filling. So I take one down as I need it with the one potato and a third of a can, in my case, of the green beans. Can I tell you something? I did the math on that. That whole delicious meal was like just short of $2. Just short of $2 in 2024 for a beautiful chicken, a wonderful baked potato, and the green beans. I think I did really, really well. Did you figure out the cost per person of your meal tonight? Think about it. Whatever you plan to have tonight, just for the fun of it, how much does it cost? And figure it out. Let me know in the comments section below if this makes any sense to you. <laughs> but for me, because I'm a bit of a bean counter, it's very helpful. I was really happy with that number. Just short of $2? Sorry, <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. Take care.